day. Hope everyone's having a good week. It is currently hailing slash snowing slash raining outside. So happy winter for me, huh? Um, hopefully you guys don't have this right now, but today. Um, so I wanted to share a little story because I think this might help explain my point today. So I have an instructor who, um, this happened a few months ago. So I, I feel like it's, I've seen the full story. So I want to share it now. So she was wonderful. Um, I went to her, all her classes. We worked on getting her, um, you know, tweaking every little thing that we could. Um, and we, her ride was wonderful. She was like perfect up on the bike, perfect form. Um, queuing was wonderful. The flow of her class was perfect. Like every little thing we worked on and I loved it. She did great. Um, but for some reason, she still couldn't fill the room. The attendance was still struggling and we couldn't figure out why. I kept riding with her, we kept making little tweaks, but for the most part, you know, everything worked well. Her music was great, it matched what she was doing with the ride. She was perfect with the timing of the music and the cueing, like I said, the cueing was on point. Her energy, her personality was there. She was excited to be there and people could feel that, but for some reason, still struggled. So I, as, a, as an owner, as a manager, was really struggling to help her, right? Because sometimes, you know, when you hit every single thing, it's hard to see from the outside what is really going on here. So I thought maybe it was the time. We moved her time slots a little bit, still nothing. Here's what we learned. <clears throat> we forget, um, we forget how easy it is for us to do certain things on the bike that to a newer person, or maybe even not a newer, just a regular rider who isn't you know, super advanced or doesn't like to do certain things, we forget how easy it is for us to do those things and how hard it might be for somebody else. So, hey Kimberly. So what was happening was this instructor's ride was incredibly difficult. A um, lot of out of the saddle uh, at high speeds, not sprinting by any means, but maybe four songs in a row where you're pretty much barely in the saddle. Um, for someone like me or probably someone like you, who's used to riding a lot, that's not that big of a deal. Uh, for someone who's relatively new or maybe rides once a week, doesn't come in that often, that's hard. That's really hard. Um, on top of that, she was doing choreography because this was one of our tempo classes, which was a little more complicated. Um, and for people that do choreography, you'll know that something that's easier for us is very tricky for a lot of our riders because they don't usually don't know how to do it in a way that makes it kind of seamless and smooth. So what we learned was that people were coming to class and although the class was, you know, technically great, um, they were leaving feeling discouraged because it was so difficult that they couldn't keep up. So they didn't want to come back. So this is just goes back to that point I made a couple weeks ago that people have to leave class feeling accomplished, feeling like they could, they could do it and they could leave feeling stronger and better. Otherwise, they're not going to want to come back. So no matter how good the class is, how good the instructor is, how technically perfect and cueing perfect, music perfect, all that stuff, if the class is too hard and not doable and not um, no modifications, no nothing is given to allow someone to, to keep up, they're not going to want to come back. So keep that in mind because I think what we forget as instructors and as riders is that we can handle the harder classes. So in our mind, something that might be relatively easy or not too much of a challenge for somebody else might be really, really difficult. So if we make a class that's maybe on par with what our skill level is, it doesn't mean that our riders are gonna be able to do it. And it might mean that they get so intimidated by it that they don't wanna come back. So when you're thinking about your rides and you're thinking about how difficult to make them, Consider, you know, Sally, who's brand new in your back row. And then also consider, like I said a couple weeks ago, the front row, you know, Joe, who's been riding with you for, for years and years. You wanna consider both people when you're making your ride. And this is just one of the reasons to do it. Cause you can always cue them to make it harder, right? You can always add a little resistance. You can always pick up the pace a little bit. But if you make it so hard that somebody who's brand new can't ease up, can't modify, they're not going to want to come back. So I'd be curious how you guys, here's the question. How do you 
check in with your ride to make sure that it's doable for both ends of the spectrum, for the newbie and the experienced rider. Do you talk to your riders? Do you ask them how they felt about class? Do you have someone come in and ride from, you, from your team? Maybe another instructor, maybe your manager. Um, do you yourself go try and ride the class and then try and consider maybe how someone could make it easier, how they could make it harder. I'm curious, let me know, um, because I do think it's really important um, and it can make all the difference in building attendance in your class, as I saw with one of my instructors. So let me know in the comments. Um, and also let me know if you guys have topics for next week. I think I only have like two more on the list right now. So if you have ideas or something you wanna talk about, just a topic you wanna talk about, drop it in the comments. Let me know and I will see you next Thursday. All right guys, have a great rest of your week and weekend. We're almost there. Bye.